Hey friends, welcome to another video with me, Summer Fun Fitness. Today I'm going to walk you through a workout I did the other day. This workout was designed to strengthen my whole body for muscle ups. Okay, and if you've ever been on Instagram before or seen some CrossFit games or some calisthenics videos, you know that there's a bunch of different techniques and ways to do a muscle up and what is defined as a muscle up. For me, I would really like to strengthen my regular straight bar, no kipping muscle up. So I want to have full control through it. So I can do a couple different muscle up variations, but I don't nail it every single time. So that's where this workout comes in. It will help really help to strengthen me and you so that we can rep out those muscle ups one day. So let's get started. On my way to the gym to do some muscle up training with some nice chocolate snack beforehand. So as this is my first warm up, I will start with a pretty wide grip, making sure I'm really pushing out through the shoulders as I rotate them. I will do this a couple different times, each time bringing my hands in closer to each other. The whole time you actually want to make sure you're pulling your hands apart so you're creating tension. So again, all the movement is coming from my shoulder. In this move, it's coming from that top arm. We are using a resistance band so that we can really know if we're pulling through our shoulders. So again, we want to make sure we're lifting our shoulders up before we're rotating them back so we're not collapsing into them. These next two moves, you just want to make sure you're keeping tension on that band. Other than that, I'll let you look in a mirror and record yourself and really feel it out. the bar with a pretty wide grip and then I'm actually slightly pulling out so I'm creating that sort of tension and then as I'm rotating my shoulders back I actually want to create space in my shoulders I want to grow taller and then rotate that so in the mobility sequence you are gonna see when I'm pressing down, when I'm compressing, I wanted to actually use the strength of your whole body. I want you to be breathing deeply. I want you to, you might even like cramp up a little bit because I want a lot of effort exerted in this position. But just make sure if your hands are on the floor that you're, when you're on the floor, you're pressing really hard through here, okay? And then you're lifting off because you want to build the strength to actually lift off and then rotate through your shoulder. So this movement is targeted at expanding our range of motion in our shoulders. So we start by placing our hands at our end range. For you guys, this might be on the floor. Do whatever feels safest for you. Next, I'm going to compress through that hand with the one that's staying on that bar. And the other one, I want to rotate up through my shoulder, not through my wrist, but rotate up as high as I can. Bring it to my back. Take a little second once I get it there. And then again, rotating through that shoulder, pressing that forehead down, trying to lift my arm up as high as possible. And then I bring it back down to that bar, press through, so compress through again for a second, and then do the other arm, making sure I'm staying engaged. You can see my back is engaged here as well. And then again, lifting up from the shoulder, rotating, fighting for that height there, keeping my forehead down, go back to the bar. Here, I take a moment or two to compress down once again. And then I'm practicing lifting off, trying to keep my arms up as high as possible. Again, rotating through the shoulders, of course. This is a difficult movement. I highly recommend starting on the ground as opposed to up on these yoga blocks like I am doing. As far as reps and sets go for this, I usually do this a couple of times and I actually do a whole set where I'm just working on the compressing down and the lift off. Compress down, lift off, and then I do the rotational. I do a couple single arm, a couple double arm. I hope this helps. Um, I do have some friends on Instagram that you could follow for more mobility advice. Probably better trained in mobility than I am, so I will show them here. Yeah, check them out. 
Also not pictured here is some leg warm-ups I did, as well as some wrist warm-ups. So it is important to warm up those wrists, especially because at the top of your muscle up, you're gonna have to go over there. So usually I start with simple things, just like these finger flicks. So you actually wanna flick enough that you hear the noise. So it helps to get all the blood rushing there. And then simple things like doing our rotations, as well as just holding them and trying to use all your strength to pull them back. Like this alone right now has already made my forearm cramp. As you can see, my forearm is flexed there. So you can work on that. You can also work on putting them down. This should actually require a lot of effort from you. So you can do like five or so of those, because let's be honest, they're really freaking hard. <laughs> so do those and then do some rotations. Yeah, my forearm is feeling that for sure. <laughs> All this workout, just know that it is super advanced. But that doesn't mean that you can't learn from it. You can always do simpler progressions. Just take a look at what I'm doing and then modify it for yourself. So if I'm doing a pull-up and you can't do a pull-up, well then put a box down, jump up and lower yourself down. Find ways to modify it for you. If I'm doing an ab workout that is just too crazy, well see if you can put your feet down. See if you can change your positioning at all to still make it so that you're working on building the strength, but you're not hurting yourself. This first exercise might take a little bit of time to get used to, definitely some coordination involved. So we're gonna go from our Superman, roll over, we're gonna do a pike sit up and then roll back over and we keep going. So if you can't do this, simply just break down the move and, and just do the Superman lift offs, really working on your hollow body skills here. This next core movement is quite advanced, so please modify for your own body. I'm doing it up on my toes, but you can do it on your knees as you get used to the movement. Alternatively, if you don't wanna do this, you could do hollow body holds, and that's where you lay on your back, and you do that sort of hollow shape. Now it's time for pull-up training, so I'll meet you over at the pull-up bar. For this, I decided to use a resistance band instead of using weights around my waist. The resistance band helps me to train my whole body to stay tight throughout the movement. Even better would be to anchor the resistance band in front of you so that you're pulling on a bit of a diagonal. Next up, we're going to work the top portion of our muscle up using straight bar dips. For this, you really want to keep your elbows in tight and lower down to your lower chest or even a bit lower than I'm doing in this video. You want to make sure you're locking out at the top as well. I'm a huge fan of using negatives to learn new skills, whether it's muscle ups or handstand push ups or even pull ups. That's actually how I taught myself to pull up was by using negatives. So here we're going to bring ourselves to the top of the bar and we're gonna lower ourselves down, mimicking the downward motion of our muscle up, really engaging throughout the whole movement and doing it with control. So this workout was really doing what I wanted, which was fatiguing my muscles. So here you can see that I start this exercise, but I am gonna overlay clips from another training date when I was able to perform the exercise at a less fatigued state. Finally, we are at the last exercise of the muscle up training portion of my workout. I did assisted muscle ups until failure. I tried to keep my legs together and use less of that knee drive to get myself over the bar because I really wanted to fatigue my muscles. Now that the strength training schedule portion of my workout was done, I was free to move in whatever way I wanted to. So I did some trick training, just worked on some skills that I've been enjoying. Also at the end of most of my sessions, I will follow up with another little mobility sequence, just make sure I'm really enforcing those new movement patterns. I hope you guys enjoyed this glimpse into what one of my regular training sessions look like. If you guys have any comments or questions or anything like that, please comment below. Also hit that like button if you watch this whole video. Um, it helps me to make more videos for you so I know what you like. I'm Summer Fun Fitness. Follow me on Instagram for more daily workouts. Thanks. Bye.